Sunday. Good morning, you beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I I don't know what I was thinking. I should have made a whole... It's a theme week. It is beach week. So I have figured out how to do a bling bling beach. But first, I wanted to show you the Dutch pour, the Friday's resin piece, Monday's bonus video, the tic-tac-toe, and I noticed when I did the first one, I, as par for me, I had too much resin and it dripped off. I was so disappointed that when I seen this, I'm like, oh, what can I do with it? So when I did that one, I had come down to look at it because I kept spritzing it with the alcohol so that all the bubbles were going. I decided I pulled off all of the drip off and I put it on a mason jar. It's there, it ain't perfect, but I thought it was kind of cool. So I threw a candle in there and um, yeah, I don't know, let me see if I can light it. I'm not that talented. Torch don't work anyway so I just thought instead of having it go hard like this and not know what to do with it so that's what I did I thought it was kind of cute it's not like I said nothing extravagant so but that is beach week I put my bathing suit on but that would just scare everybody so with that being said I'm gonna get all my stuff together and I think you're going to be impressed with this one because what's in here, hopefully if it comes on the canvas the way I'm thinking it, it'll be awesome. So I'm going to grab all my stuff. I'm going to get everything together. We'll go through the products when I bring you down. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. Okay, we are back. I have my canvas prepped um, with my push pins and my tape. I just wanted to show you because people were asking about canvases being primed. Nowadays, almost every canvas is primed. Do you see the difference in color? This is like an, a linen color and this is white. So if your canvas looks like this linen color, that means it is not primed and you will need to put gesso on it but they're already gessoed. So I just thought I'd point that out while I noticed it when I was putting my push pins in. So my canvas is a 20 by 24 inch level one from Michaels. I'm gonna paint my beach theme this way. So I have decided I am going to do, oh, but pay attention to what I'm doing. I move this so it's going to get all mixed up anyways. I'm just going to show you what I have here before I I have my first love my Pebeo Studios iridescent is this one blue green? Yes, blue green. That's what is here. I have um, Liquid X Basics light blue permanent that's a different name, light blue permanent. That's what's here. And I put a little dab of the white. This is the glam dust. This is what the bottles look like. So that's Deco Art Glam Dust. This one is white. Crystal, ice crystal. So I put a little bit there because this is not um, metallic. This is metallic and I'm using the other one from the modern Modern Masters uh, metallic paint. This one is Venetian blue. So with those three, I'm going to ombre. So it's going to be dark blue on the bottom. Work my way up. And I may throw some white in the middle. This is the Artist Loft um, metallic white. And then once we get up to the top, I'm going to do, I'm going to let the bottom dry first. And then when I get to the top, I'm going to use this Peblio Studios. This one is iridescent gold. That's going to be my sand. 
and I'm going to try and do a background line of the white. So it would look like the wave coming onto that. And I'll go through all the bling stuff because that's going to be a whole nother aspect. But we're going to get into the paint first while I got this sitting here. And on top as well, that's what this is. I've squirted some blending medium. This one is by Liquitex. And as you've watched the other videos with me blending, it works really good when you mix it in prior to trying to get some of it because it all moved when I, I, I moved it out of the way and I tilted it. So, so I hope you're enjoying the beach theme week. Makes me want to go on holiday somewhere, which ain't going to happen in the near future, is it, guys? I'm going to put my spoon in there. And I'm going to mix these guys up. This one's got like that iridescent in it. So, or the, um, the glam dust. I'm hoping it shows a little bit. I might mix more of this in here because like I said, it got all pushed around. I want to make sure I'm able to blend these really good. You know what, I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna put, um, cause I want it to be sparkly. I'm gonna put some of this iridescent medium in there as well. We have to have all that glitters, guys. This is called Bling Bling Day for a reason. There we go. So that one is done. And then mix up my Pebbly Studio. And again, it all rolled off, so I'm going to pour a little bit more on it because. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to get my finger looked at. I thought I was going to cry trying to get dressed this morning. It's just like, oh. All right. There we go. So I'm going to. Scrape these off, put them in my little cup there. And what my thoughts are, guys, I'm gonna try and do the dark. I'm gonna do this color, the green color, and then the blue. Or maybe I should do the green near the, yeah, either way. And I'm just gonna, I've got my lovely brush. This is my um, Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo. It is R7. 95 firm 60 michaels use your coupon all right i'm just wetting it just so that it is gonna be nice and ready okay so we're gonna give this a quick little brush over and wish me luck you're gonna go nice dark blue and don't forget to get your sides guys when you're going Trying to go both ways just so it gets into the canvas properly. And the sides. So I hope everybody had a wonderful week. We had such a beautiful day yesterday. Today is, um, I don't know, I'm so ahead of myself this week. Last week I was so behind, this week I'm so ahead. This is Wednesday and I'm doing Sunday's video. I have Fridays already done. I'm just like never this prepared. I really wanna get the edging done just before we get all of that on the top and then we can play around. There we go. Yeah, it's so weird that I'm actually quite prepared. So yes, I have to make a mold for those silly X's and O's, I tell you guys. I wouldn't want to offend anybody, but I was joking with my husband. I said, a man must have made the mold. No offense to anybody, just a joke. All right. 
right. Now we're just gonna crisscross just so we can get it all into the canvas, worked in properly. I just love these paints. And I thought I had a, um, a lighter blue, but I didn't on this one. So. All right. We're gonna, oh, we got a lump of something in here. Let me just get that out. All right. And we're not going all the way to the top because I'm only gonna go to about here with this blue color because I want the sand on the top, so. I got it all here, I might as well put it all on. Oh, well that's all right, that color's going in, so. even so you're finished on the end and I want to wipe off some of this excess get my paper towel out here guys sorry because I don't want to go totally blue when I go into the other color you don't need to wash in between, but you should give it a good wipe out just to get some of the excess stuff out. All right, so we're going to go with the blue and then I'm going to end in the green, I think is what we're doing here. I think. <laughs> if I'm going to find out. I'm just going to get some, lay down some base there. Get her in there. Don't forget the sides. And I probably have more than I need on here. It's gonna brush off. And I keep making extra little canvases because I have little paint left over and I hate to use waste it. I'll show you. So I'm gonna have to make a, a bling bling day of all the canvases. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna wipe off some of this blue and try and blend it in here. Side, a little bit mixed there. try and bring some of this light like just kind of I don't want it to be perfect if you know what I mean that's silly I think that's good wipe off this excess oh my goodness I can do two more beach paintings the only thing I didn't put a lot out was the expensive paint <laughs> all right we're gonna get into the green and we're gonna do a nice oh 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 my gosh I just love that color I probably should have oh, well I guess this is all right abstract is the way to go because nothing <laughs> has to be perfect. All right, and if I come up a little high, that's fine. We can always come back with the gold because I want this to dry first before I put on the um, 
brain's not working. When I put the, I want to have a little bit of a white background to the gold before. So it looks like a wave. And we're just going to try and, like I said, I want it to look not uniformed. My thoughts are I'm going to put a little bit of white in it. Just to kind of bring like an, an ocean wave. There's always, just when you think you fixed it, something else happens. Okay, hmm, what I might do is put, I'm going to, look at all the extra paint. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Oh, 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 that's all right. It didn't land anywhere where it shouldn't be. I'm just going to squirt a little bit, I don't want a lot, of this. Um, metallic white. I'm going to dip it into the edge of my brush, like, kind of like that, and let's see what happens. To give it like a little bit of a wave. Maybe. gonna try and do a whole line and go like oh let's see I'm gonna go this way this is why you need to watch the whole video instead of fast forwarding because the brain works in mysterious weird ways with with Sherry and I'm just gonna try and do this and then we'll see if it works All right, now we're gonna try and blend all that in to see if it makes a wave. It's just funny how you sit and think, look at things. Eh, maybe, maybe not. But there's something in there that could be construed as a wave. If you look at it. I'm going to blend that just a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I think it did it. Oh, my goodness. And just remember, there, the sides. Ta-da! Oh, my goodness. I feel like I need to jump up and down because this actually turned out... I'm impressed. I'm going to bring it up. I don't know if you can see the way the lines went. It looks like a wave. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. We will be back and we will paint the top with this gold. Oops. And um, with this white kind of to give it like a beach Kind of like this idea, to give that idea on the beach. Alrighty, my friends, I will see you when this is dry. Bye. Hey, we are back. This is all dry. Oh my goodness. It just looks so beachy. And that pebbly -o looks so shiny. I am going to put some of my uh, metallic white from artist loft i'm going to put that on here because i want to do oh 
shoot I gotta wipe that off see nothing welcome to Sherry's channel I'm just gonna wipe off these little whites or blend them in <laughs> That's what you get for doing stuff on the canvas. Well, there you go. It's a beach theme, so there. I'm going to do uh, my line of the water. So this, I'm going to use this little brush. This is just a, it is so old, it's probably like 12 years or more. Um, it's a number one. I'm going to say it's a one inch flat brush. I'm just going to wet it a little bit and take off the dampness on my puppet pad. And we are just going to, I just want to cut in where my beach is going to come into the water. So with that, I'm just going to I want to just do a rough idea here and maybe I'll come down more on this end there so that is going to be my beach line and I want to put it white and then I'm going to bring the beach over it so there's like a definition be a solid white line and then I'm gonna let this dry and come back with my I'm gonna do white on the side just so it's all cohesive is going to get a couple coats. And if I do decide to, yeah, I want to do like jagged edge a little bit. No, maybe I'm going to do it solid. But I want it to be a solid white line, not so I'm coming back to make this hopefully solid. I'm just loading my brush, I'm pointing it to a point, and then I'm coming straight up so I can make all of that paint go to the edge. I don't know if that makes any sense, guys. Does that make sense? Bring it to a point and I'm just gonna... And that way your line is kind of crisp. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm coming back with a different color on top of it, but I want that definite line. I'm gonna do that all the way. my wave to be and again I do not sure if I mentioned what color this is this is my metallic white from artist loft just in case I'm getting forgetful of what I'm telling you people that's why I thought I would start doing this. Do you think I will ever do a video where it doesn't stop? <laughs> I think that was my battery. I have the other part rectified. It was my battery was overheating, so I went in and fixed the settings. 
So that should stop. All right. Now I'm just going to come back and do kind of like a second coat just to cover the greeny spot that's there. And again, like I said, this is going to be covered by that um, gold, but I want it just to have that definition. And it just looks like the paint is so blotchy. And it's a wave, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want to make sure that when I put the other color on, it is going to be solid. Perfecto. So I think that's good. We're going to let this dry and then come back. I'm just going to fix the edge over here. I'm going to come back with the gold. I'm just going to do one more little swipe down here. Actually, let me just do this part right here. I don't know why. Anyway, it's done. I went over a bit on the side already. So I'm going to wash out my brush. I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to come back with my um, gold. I'll see you guys in a little bit. My battery, what I've been told with this camera is that the battery um, gets hot and that's why it keeps shutting off. I changed the setting inside I'm going to have to find something because I haven't had this on very long and it's already heated. Like, I don't know what else. But what I was saying is, you don't need to go, just leave a white line. You don't need to go crazy because we're going to come back with, I have all kinds of ideas. I've got glitter. We've got some shells. We've got, you know, so that line doesn't need to be totally totally um, perfect. I'm going to come back this way. And again, I'm going to have to have more paint. <gasps> and I think it's nice well, when the edge, when it's not perfect, because it's like it's a beach. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more. Oh, my goodness. Please don't turn off. <laughs> that is so weird how I don't understand. I'm just going to mix it with my brush. I don't get it how why it just keeps turning off because it's been off for quite a while. Okay, here we go. area right in here. Let's just bring in a heavy bit. And over here, because it's kind of, and again, like I said, most of this gold is going to be covered. All right, now we're going to use it all and I'm just going to go with the flow of this wave. It keeps coming off the edge. Why? Okay. We're going to follow the wave. 
it's almost a yellow brick road. There, I think that is good. I just want to fix this little bit down here. I'm hoping that it's not too, there, perfect. So that I think is good. And then we're gonna come back. Here it's all goofy, but I'm not worried. We're gonna come back and maybe I can whiten it a little bit more. My brush is still here. Let's just see. Oh, that might have just... Leave well enough alone, right? Let me just get a little brush so I can even it out. just smooth it out. There, perfect. All right, we're done. Actually, I might come in here with this little one. There, perfect. So that's that. We're going to let that completely dry. I'm going to leave it dry overnight, and I'm going to come back tomorrow with all of the bling, the bling bling stuff. So I'm just going to even out this side. Perfect. With that, I will see you guys tomorrow with some bling. Bye. Alrighty, we are back. Everything is dry. I'm excited. So I am going to use my Tri-Art liquid glass. You can use Mod Podge, Mod Podge. You can use two-part epoxy resin. Um, I used to use resin on all of my bling blings, but I find this is no mix, no smell. You don't need to wear a mask. It's a little bit better for you. So I'm using the liquid glass. I'm gonna flip it around. What we got there? Is that not pretty? So far. So I'm gonna coat the whole thing with liquid glass. I, I'm gonna, my thoughts, sometimes are good, sometimes are not. I have this mixed up, what I have left from my sand. I may, I'm gonna sprinkle that in. I'm gonna add some of this, maybe. I'll just use that instead, I think. And then I may not have to use glitter. I'm going to use some of my broken, Ashland, is that right? Ashland decorative filler. And this one is Broken Shells from Michaels. I'm probably gonna add in some of my um, sea glass filler from Dollarama. And probably I'm gonna add some of these little guys because I think a couple little shells will be cute. And I also have this glitter, which was in that kit that I bought. It's these chunky rounds. So I don't know, we may throw some of that in there. We may not. Let me just make sure I get all of this off before we start. And what else have I got sitting here that I was gonna try? If I was gonna put one of Laura's glitters, but if I'm gonna put this, I might not need to, but we're gonna, we're gonna wait and see how it goes. So, and I have this white sand as well. This is from Ikea. We also have, oh, I'm just gonna move my stuff here. And I also have this sand from the dollar store. So. I'm not sure. We're gonna see what's gonna play out here. As you know, it's all, let's have fun and go with the flow. So I am just gonna coat the whole top. Cause it's getting a whole coat. And like I said, if it's, if it all doesn't Some of this gold stays perfect. If not, 
that's fine as well because it's a pretty shiny gold. Oh, that hurt my thumb. Um, I'm going to take one of these little offsets just to spread it out. Just like ice in a cake. And this way, we're not wasting a whole lot. I don't need an abundance. I just need it to have a small, thin layer. And I can see the layer. I'm not sure if it shows up on the camera or not. Actually, this spatula works pretty good because it suctions and it carries everything right through. going crazy with let's I don't want it to go over let's see if we can pour more out here I don't know why it's oh there we go I'm just gonna for some reason it's clogged. I'm just gonna pour. I'm just gonna do a thin line down here, even though that's not thin. And there we go. And that should be enough to cover all of this. And what is that? That just looks nasty. Okay, here we go. Kinda like resin, you just wanna make sure it just coat. And another big goop. That's probably what is going on. There it is. I'm going to go right up to the try and I'm going to leave a little bit of that gold there. I didn't think of doing this before. Mind you, most of them I, I don't cover a whole area. I'm just usually zigzagging, but this is a good way to do it if you want to cover a whole area. Now let's get close. And there we go. I'm just going to flip it. Oh. Sorry guys, around this way so I can get at this side a little better. And we wanna I wanna leave. There we go. Get this base down and then we can have some fun. Wipe off the edge. Now you can go over the edge. That's totally up to you. I just find it's hard to... Maybe once the top is done, I'll come back and do the sides maybe. We can do sand on the sides. All right, I think we are good to go. I'm just going to scrape because I don't want to waste any. And do a quick, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Mind you, there's a couple little spots. You know what? We're going to leave it. Okay. Where to start? I'm going to do the sand mixture.
and we're just gonna try to do an even coat of the sand. heavy on the top. Or heavier. That should be good for the moment. I'm going to come back with some shells. are pretty because they give it its own little blingness as well because it's got that pearl side and then we're going to strategically place some of these buttes I'm going to set them up here so we can I always like it with the we'll put them in little groups I like it when that little hole is on the top so you, you kind of know what it is. There we go. I hope they stay. I'm going to give it a good push. And if they don't adhere, I'm going to come back. I think that's good. And then I'm going to come back with the, um, the gold sand. Maybe throw an odd piece of, if I can find some smaller bits of this broken sea glass. Actually, you know what? I might. Um... Ah, there we go. I'm going to dip it in this. I have a little bit. Dip that in there. And then that way I know it's going to stick in there. That guy's there. just couldn't believe the dollar store had these sea glass things. That's kind of cool. And we'll put a blue one up here. And we'll do another green one we'll put over here. And then I think that's it for that. Don't want to go too crazy. We'll put that up here. All right, so I'll put these back in here, and then I'm going to come back with that gold sand, and then that's it, I think.
think we're good. Hopefully. And then I think once this is kind of there, oops, if I can get this lid on. They're a pain in the butt to put on these lids. Oh, there's why, because I'm the wrong one. Um, do I put a little bit of Laura's glitter in there? I will. I'm going to put some of the um, gold dust just because I got it on a spoon, so hopefully I'm going to come up high and just do a little I didn't even use half a spoon, so that's good. So we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna see where it is from there. If I find the stuff didn't stay because of the way I put it on, we can add some more stuff. And I think down here I might do um, like a spray varnish or something to um, put on some glitter. So there you go. So we're gonna let that dry. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully this stuff sticks. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. We are back, we are dry, and a lot of it did not stick. I was kind of playing around because I put down that sand first. I should have put these things in first. So what I'm going to do is shake it off. And I'm going to put a second layer on. I really don't want to brush too much, but what I might do is do a second layer of the glass. Because most of this, like the sand stuck. So what I'm going to do is we'll come back and we're going to place like these are on there the ones that i dunked in so we're going to individually place i'm going to get out some liquid glass and we're going to individually place some of these on and hopefully that should work we'll patch up the ends where you see here so i'm gonna put all this in a bucket and I'll get my stuff together and we'll be right back for bling bling part two. But it does look pretty and you could do it either way. I was thinking, in my brain, I was thinking hanging it this way, right? But now that I'm looking at it, it would look better this way, I think. All right, so I'm gonna get everything together and I will be right back, guys. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, we are back. I shook off. I was disappointed because a lot of this stuff didn't stay. Um, when I, did, see, they're all coming off. When I did the um, the sand, I should have, I should have put all of these little things on first and then did the sand. I was just excited to get the sand on there. So anyways, with that being said, we're gonna do part four. I'm going to just do a coat of the liquid glass. I put it in these little bottles. I'll make this big one. I don't know what's up with that, but it's gonna be garbage. So I'm gonna, uh, liquid glass is in here. I'm going to do a coat so that I want all of the edging to be sand. So with that, I'm gonna bring if I can squeeze, oh, I like this little one because I can squeeze it. So with that, we're gonna do another coat. Actually, I'm gonna start from over here. I'm good to go this way. And I'm gonna kind of spread it out. And we're gonna do another, just touch-ups with the sand wherever I want a little more sand. And a little more here. 
There's an empty spot there. Empty spot here. And if it's raised, that don't matter because, you know, there's little nooks and crannies in the beach. Alright, so I'm going to try and make sure it's kind of on the edge. And I don't want it over, but I want it on the edge. And, and that way it will adhere. And I'm just going to put all the stuff I shook off on it. Let me just look here. There we go. And just a little bit here. Ugh, I just put my, oh my goodness. It spilt on, the, on my table, so I just put my whole hand in a whole bunch of this liquid glass. All right. And I'll put a little bit more here. Now what I want to do also, while I've got this out, I'm going to line my white line. I'm going to come back and try to brush it out to make it thinner. And I'm going to use my spinet fine silver glitter I'm going to use spin it extra fine holographic silver we're going to use that and I'm going to try to just put it there I'm going to bring it here where I've put the waves and I'm going to use the holographic so oh I don't know how to put it on there I might actually um, the only thing is when you use stuff like this if you're using a paintbrush you're going to ruin the paintbrush so I'm trying to find old paintbrushes that it don't matter if I ruin <laughs> Like this one's all, but it's too big. Oh, my, my. Yeah, and I don't want to use my liner. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Craziness, craziness. Okay, I'll use this little one. I've used him before. So I want to I'm going to pour some of this in my cup. The good thing with this, it doesn't set up as fast as resin. So I'm going to paint. I'm, I just, I just don't want to ruin this because it looks so nice. We'll start at the bottom here. And it's just, I just want a light coat of it. Just enough. to pick up that glitter. Along the white line. I just love how the the paint turned out on this one. And you could use the Mod Podge for this part. Done. 
a little bit down here. Mm, that's quite a bit. There. Okay, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to take my spoon. Love these little spoons. And I'm going to spoon the glitter on where I put. Hopefully it won't be too, too much. Like I said, I don't want to ruin. I love how the paint turned out on here. Ah. You know what? It might be better just to use my fingers. Because I want to... I want a line, but I don't want... Too, too much. It, and it didn't seem like it had enough bling for me. So. There. I'm just going to use my finger and spread what I got there. Pull my sleeve up so I don't put it in the other. do I'll try and do the silver but I will use the spoon just because I don't want to get it on the Oh my goodness. That's not what I wanted to do because it went right into where the... I want to make sure it's covered because I'm going to come back with the um, I'm going to use the spoon the gold because I've got it right here I wasn't really thinking this one out oh jeez my thumb is just screaming locking on me keeps locking on me let me see if I can actually I want to put this in water hopefully I might not ruin it there we go all right um let me see if I can scoop this out it's already in there Said to the doctor, I can't do this. Um, 
It is interfering with my crafts. This is it. Done. I'm the worst for putting things off. But I said, no, I can't do it. When it's affecting, oh, that hurt. When it's affecting me doing my, my crafts, that's it. We're done. All right, I'm going to try to come back here with some of this. Actually, I might not use that. I'm going to use this, the actual sand part that I had. What I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to come back. With um, oh my goodness, my brain does just not want to work today. I'm going to come back with um, the shells and some more. I think that's oh, more here. Now I'll put some of this, but I don't know. It probably won't adhere because I've already put the, it's this stuff I want. More of this in there. So might stay, might not. But if it picks up some little bits, that's good. Okay, so my thoughts again were, I want some shells in here, so I'm going to dunk it. I figured I would put um, I'm going to spread some of these out here because I love the colors. So what I'm going to do is, and I bought new tweezers, where to put them? Actually, I'll just use these ones, they're already gooped. So I figured I would take, this is my liquid glass, and dunk, and use it like a glue, and put some shells in there. And glass. Let's get another. Whoops, that looks a be a big old boulder. Some of these are huge. There we go. So I'm just dunking it in. Make sure there's quite a bit on there, and we're just gonna place it. Or maybe it might be even worth just putting a dot. Oh, it's there. Okay, perfect. And my little, little shells is what I was disappointed in. There we go. A lot of them didn't stay. Uh, let's see. Let's put one right here. Put a dot. I'm going to put a shell, and then I'm going to come back, <laughs> actually, and sprinkle this around because there's the, a little bit of the um, liquid glass showing. So if I put that there, I'm going to try this way with this one. So I hope this is okay, guys. I, it's not quite what I was thinking. I like the idea. I just felt down here there was no bling, and when half the shells came off, I was so disappointed. Put that one there. Put another one beside it. So I'm, I am purchasing. And I will do a video 
because if I'm going to do it, I might as well show you, amazing people, how to make your own X's and O's mold because I think the game will really, really sell. But realistically, uh, to, for you to make it with how they are making you do it, no, money-wise, it just wouldn't just wouldn't make sense, in my opinion. Because every time you touch it, it just makes it harder for you to sell it because you're putting all that time in it that really shouldn't have to go into it. I trailer and I think that the beach ones would sell like hotcakes. So. so hopefully. Alrighty. This is not how I normally do it, guys. This is what you could do with glue if you really wanted to. I like the simplicity of just throwing it all on. Let's put one of them more here. Like that. I don't know. I don't want to go too crazy either, but I do. I think that's good. And I am going to come back with some more of this sandy. Oh, my goodness, everything's sticking to me. Some more of this glittery sand. Just over. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Kind of where I was putting everything. And that way it picks up. All of the stuff that's around. All right, so I'm going to leave that. We're going to leave it for about four hours because, like I said, this is why I've switched to the liquid glass. It adheres just as well, if not actually better, if you put it in the right order, than the um, resin. And it's like um, you don't need all your safety equipment because it's not as a harsh on you as the resin. So with that, I am going to pick up my mess and, oh, I don't know. Do I put some of these little guys? No. Pick up my mess and I will see you guys in a little bit when it's dry. Bye. All right. We are back. I'm going to shake off and hopefully it worked. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's perfect. It's not overly. I'm just going to get this just a light little brush because I don't want to shake off too much of everything. I could have sweep my floor and get sand everywhere. Oh, I love it. That, I'm just going to brush this off. That's amazing. Now I might try and, there's a couple little pieces here. Actually, I like that thick line. Oh, that's cool. I can peek that off. Well, there we go. I am impressed. And this is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want a whole bunch, but I, it, I know it needed something. So there you go. Oh my goodness. My beach week is complete. Look at that. I just love this paint. I'm going to flip it this way because you can hang it either way. Now that I look at it, probably better to hang it with the actual beach on the bottom. But love it, love it, love it. I'm going to set it up with my um, other beach stuff and I will give you a little show and tell. I'll be right back, guys. 
there we go my beach themed week we have the beginning of the week we have our tic-tac-toe board then we have our resin board then we have our dutch pour and we finished it off with a beach themed bling bling I like it. It's kind of plain on the bottom, but I just enjoyed the color so much that I didn't want to um, take away too much from it. And I am so missing my studio lights. I can't wait for them to come back in. Now, somebody had mentioned, what is this jar? You didn't do anything with this jar. What I did, I probably talked about it in the video, but I can't remember. So I'm going to do it anyways. What I did is the drippings that I had from this, when I came down to check it, it was still pliable. So I took it off my tray and I just wrapped it around my mason jar. Threw a candle in there. Can't light it at the moment because I don't have something long enough to stick it in there. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed a little getaway with my beach week. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. Um, if you like what you see, please give it a share and hit the bell for notifications and you'll get notified on my next video. And don't forget to check out um, Laura's Art Corner. I have a discount code in the description box. It's all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10% and you get 10% off your entire order. I have my Facebook page linked in the description. I also have my Amazon shops and my PayPal link. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.